affirmed the reversal of appointment made by ex-governor Adigbo Yitola and further sacking some 12,000 workers said to have been illegally employed. Those that, sack, that were sacked include 30 Pam Sex, uh, while chairman of the State Independent Electoral Commission, OCEC, Shekmulade Tora and its members were suspended. OCEC chairman and members were fired for alleged abuse of office. The governor also dethroned three monarchs whose installation were allegedly controversial. The monarchs removed include that of Alakin of Ikiru, Oba Yunusa Akadiri, Are of Yure, Oba Adimola Ulukwonle, and Owa of Igbajo, Oba Gwega Famodu. A delegate told the monarchs to vacate their palaces immediately and instructed security operators to take over the palaces. For the House of Assembly, yes, they reacted to some of the actions. The Assembly said the Oshun theme and the designation of Oshun and State of Oshun virtuals remained legal as they were backed by relevant provision in, enacted by the legislation and assented to by the governor then in 2012. What, what is going on in Oshun State? What is my take on Adeleke sacking close to 12,000 workers and also the Trinity monarchs? And um, he also sacked about 30 permanent secretaries. Here is my take on it. Adeleke was very right to reverse all last minute appointments by the former governor Oyetola. Why? For the past four years, when Oyetola was in office, he never deemed this fit to, to employ 12,000 civil servants. He never deemed this fit to conduct local government election. He never deemed this fit to, to promote 30 permanent secretaries. He never deemed it fit to also promote the three monarchs. But immediately he lost the election. Within the three months in which he lost the election, to so when um, Adeleke will be sworn in, he started putting in his church and his loyalists into position just to siphon the government money. This is very wrong because I saw a report that said for the past three years, Oyitola was only able to employ 3,000 workers. But within three months after you lost the election, you, you, you suddenly got the energy to employ 12,000 civil servants. And you've not paid the half salary in which Arabe Shola failed to pay during his tenure. You've not paid it. The pensions that Arabe Shola failed to pay, you've not paid all the backlogs. But you suddenly have the energy to start employing 12,000 12,000 workers after you've lost the election. It's very wrong. And going forward, I would love the federal government to make a rule and to make a new law that once a government, once a sitting governor loses election or once a new person has been elected to be the governor, there should be limited power in which the sitting governor or the incumbent is going to have. The decision making should be limited and the acting governor should have the right to either stop or freeze the government account and to allow and to immediately stop to immediately stop last minute appointments and last minute projects allocations and awarding of projects. Because most times in Nigerian politics, we've seen that incumbents tend to intentionally make wrong decisions that will affect the government government because they lost the election or because their political party didn't win their election. So they will intentionally bring in new laws that will frustrate the coming governor. So this is my take. Adeke was not wrong. And anybody that is on social media insulting Adeke is just doing this based on selfish reasons and for political for cheap political points. Thank you.